T slot demo. Welcome from CNC Wood Carving UK. One we shall create a curved T slot. First find or select the T slot cutter. For this demo the curved T slot will be on the center line of the job, so add a center line vertically. Create an arc or circle from the bottom of your job, 180 mm diameter, in my case. Next we need the start and end of our T slot, draw two lines from the circle center point at 70 degrees, or so. Then remove all lines we do not need. My experience you must put a start and finish bore to allow the cutter to plunge in, as T-slot cutters do not plunge cut very well, our T-slot cutter is 12 mm, so 11 mm start holes will be adequate, also add two 8 mm holes, you will see why later. Let's bore our holes, open the tool paths tab, click on the profile tool path icon, set the depth, 12, select a 5 mm cutter, select inside slash left, select ramp, spiral, and name it as small bores, then select the two bores and calculate. Duplicate the tool path, and open it, and select the two large bores, name it large bores and calculate. Next we must rough the T-slot. Profile tool path icon, select 5 mm tool, select on the line, ramp, spiral, name it as rough slot, select the line and calculate. Now for the T-slot cutter, on the fluting tool path icon, set the depth, 12, select the T-slot cutter, click ramp at start and end, click ramp length, and set it to 0, 0, name it as T-slot, and calculate. Unfortunately in Vectric software T-slot tool paths look like an end mill. 2. We shall create a straight T-slot.
First add an 8mm and 11mm bore at 50,60 in my case. Create a line from the center of the bores to the right about 20 mm and create an offset at 1020 mm. Now create a tool path from the bore center to the line and back to the center and remove the two marker lines. Why did I draw two lines on the same path, well if I only had one line the cutter will plunge on the center of our bore, feed to the other end, then retract back up, which is what we do not want, by using two lines the cutter will feed in, feed to point B, then will feed back to the bore center, then retract out. On the tool path tab. Let's bore our holes. Open the Tool Paths tab, click on the Profile Tool Path icon, set the depth, 12, select a 5mm cutter, select inside slash left, select ramp, spiral, and name it as small bores, then select the two bores and calculate. Next we must rough the T-slot, profile tool path icon, select 5mm tool, select on the line, ramp, spiral, name it as rough slot, select the line and calculate. Now for the T-slot cutter, on the fluting tool path icon, set the depth, 12, select the T-slot cutter, click ramp at start and end, click ramp length, and set it to 0, 0, name it as T-slot, and calculate. So let's see what our T-slot looks like IG code. G0x50.00 y60.00 move to the bore center line. Z20.00, Z gap above material, move to the point you set in a spire. M1, are we ready? On my CNC, G0 Z5.00, clearance Z1 Z5.00, move to the clearance height. G1 Z0.00 F600 feed to the top of material. G1 Z12.00 feed to the T slot bottom. G1 Y75.00 feed to the slot B point. G1 Y60.00 feed back to the bore center line. G1 Z0.00 feed up to top of material. G0 Z5.00 move to the clearance height. It is very important to make sure your G code dose what you want, otherwise you may have to start the job all over again. The tool database.
Select a group. Add a tool. Select type, and mill. Name it as 12mm T slot cutter. Add a note to remind you of the data needed, 12x6, and 5x6, max depth 12mm. Set the speeds and feeds you believe your CNC can handle. It is vital the pass depth be set deeper than your slot. I hope this little lesson will help you all create T slots without errors and problems. Please email me if you need help, or please comment.